welcome to this video. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the difference between hope and wish. Now, I'm making this video because a lot of my students wanted to say something nice to me because I just got back from a three week trip in Colombia. So when I was coming back, they wanted to say something about my trip. But here's what they said. A lot of my students, I was reading the comments and a lot of them said, I wish you have a good trip. And I heard a lot of these comments with wish. And that's why we're going to talk about the difference between hope and wish. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. In this lesson, we're talking about the difference between hope and wish, two very common verbs in English. Now, remember at the beginning, I said that a lot of my students wrote in the comments, they wrote, I wish you have a good trip. I wish you have a good trip. Now, although I really appreciate the sentiment, this unfortunately is grammatically incorrect. It sounds pretty terrible, and that's because there's a confusion between the verbs hope and wish. Now, before we go any further, I want you to know that wish can be used in many different contexts grammatically, but we're only going to talk about it in this one context, okay? So just keep that in mind. We're not going to cover every single way that you can use the verb wish. So let's talk about hope. We use hope to talk about a future situation and you want something specific to happen in that future situation. And we can use hope to express that desire, that want for that future situation. Now remember that I just got back from a three week trip in Colombia. This is the perfect time to use hope. Now, if one of your friends is going on a trip or they're at the airport or they have some sort of important upcoming event, remember future event, we use hope. You can say, I hope you have a great trip. I hope you have a great trip. And here you could say anything. I hope your flight goes smoothly. I hope your flight isn't delayed. I hope you get there safely. I hope you love Colombia or wherever they're traveling to. I hope you have an amazing vacation. So you can hope them many different things, but we're going to use that verb hope. Now we can use this in a more general context and we frequently use it to talk about the weather. So let's say I have this important event tomorrow and it's outside. I can say, I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. I hope it's sunny tomorrow. I hope it's hot tomorrow. I hope it's cold tomorrow. Whatever you want the weather to be. You can use hope to express a desire for a future situation. Now hope and wish are not interchangeable, so we can't use wish in this situation. But since right now it's December 23rd, in two days, it's Christmas, it's the holiday season, I'm hearing the verb wish used a lot. So in this specific context, we can use wish to talk about holidays or major events like a birthday, a wedding, an anniversary, any major event. And we generally wish someone something that we want to have happen to them. We wish them something positive in their life. Now for Christmas, we generally just say, I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. And you could use this for other holidays as well. I wish you a happy Easter. I wish you a wonderful Thanksgiving. You can use it for other holidays. 
Now, in addition to just using the specific holiday name, we also wish someone something specific. Like I could say, I wish you all the success in the world. And it's true, I do. I wish you all the success in the world. So this is something that you could write on a card. It could be a birthday card, a graduation card, a wedding card, a holiday card, any card for a major event. You can wish someone, I wish you all the success. I wish you all the happiness, all the joy, all the love in the world. That would be a really nice thing to say. Now, New Year's is also coming up. New Year's, January 1st, you're going to wish someone something as well. I wish you prosperity in the new year. I wish you love and joy and happiness in the new year. So we use hope and wish in different contexts. But let's also look at the sentence structure. So let's bring up our example. I hope you have a great trip. I hope you have a great trip. So here we have subject, hope, object, I hope you, and then we need a verb. I hope you have, I hope you get, I hope it doesn't. We need an object and a verb. But let's compare that to wish. I wish you a wonderful new year. So here we have subject, wish, object. So, so far we're the same, right? I wish you, but here's where it's different. You wish someone something. So after the object, we don't want a verb. I wouldn't say, I wish you have a prosperous new year. No, it's object and then the something, the noun. I wish you a prosperous new year. That's the something. I wish you success. Success is the something. So we can't use a verb after. So just take note of the different sentence structures and make sure you're forming those sentences correctly. All right, so now you know how to use hope and wish correctly. Now there's one last thing for you to do, and of course, that's to practice. So make sure you write two example sentences, one using hope and one using wish, and put them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforestenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you all the success as a language learner. Ah, you see, I just formed two sentences so I can't wait to read your examples in the comments below. And until next time, bye.